Alright guys, welcome to this little beginner guide for Super Auto Pets. In this video, basically, I will be running through all the little rules that Super Auto Pets has that even if you already played a little bit, you might not know, which uh, I learned over the last couple dozen hours of playing this game. I already have, you know, I'm not the best player at all. I'm probably an average player, but I already have a decent amount of victories already under my belt. And I think I can explain this little basic free-to-play pack with the basic free-to-play animals quite well to you guys. And of course, I will also, for my community, if you're coming from the other channel, I will also at the start explain the whole game. Because as you can see, it looks uh, very childish, right? You have these little animal stickers, you can pick them up, you can drop them down. By the way, this is available not only on PC, on Steam, free-to-play but it is also available on Android and I think iOS as well. So you can just play it on your phone. I started playing it on my phone. It's very, uh, it's very well done on the phone. You, I mean, you can imagine, right? You just touch the little horse and uh, it sounded weird. Okay, chill, chill. Um, and then you just drop it down and that's it. So what is this game? It's an auto battler, but it's a very genius auto battler. And again, guys, trust me. I know a lot of people, you know, they come into the stream. They're like, Shurko. You went from MOBAs to this garb. What is this, man? What, what is this ch children's video game? And then they watch for like 10 minutes and they suddenly watch for like two hours, okay? Because it's very addictive. It just has such a good gameplay loop. Each game has basically no timer. You can always exit out of it. And then you can just continue because it is a PvP game. But I'm going to explain the PvP. It's, it's a very, very smart solution. To the PvP, uh, to make this game very accessible to you know anywhere where you are, however long uh, you have in terms of time, you can always pick it up and just lay it down as it is. So let's explain. As you can see here, you have your battle road here up here. You can place five animals, and at the bottom you have the little three gold uh, road. So everything here costs three gold. The apple costs three gold. And each of these animals costs 3 gold. You have 10 gold per round. You have 10 health points. And the rest I will explain later, okay? Then you can roll. Now, I'm going to buy the horse. And as you can see, the horse, all of these pets have different attack and health stats right under them with the little punchy thing and the little uh, heart. And um, yeah, they have different bonus effects. So the horse, when a friend is summoned, you, the horse gives it plus one attack until the end of battle, okay? Now, the horse is not the best. Uh, if you're a beginner, again, I, I won't just make this video for my community, just completely explaining the game from scratch if you never played it. I will also, you know, explain a lot of little intricacies and tell you what kind of uh, decisions are good as a beginner. Um, even if you already played a little bit and you might have found this through YouTube search or whatever. So don't worry, you will not be left uh, out of the road. There's two roads. Just shut up, Shurko. Um, so yeah, the horse is actually kind of bad. I spent the first couple hours buying a lot of horses and I thought it's going to be dank. It's not, unfortunately. It sounds cool. Eh, it's not that cool. Uh, the duck is not my preference, so I will roll. You, it costs one gold to roll. And here I'm already much happier because we can just go for this guy. We can put an apple onto him, which might seem like a very terrible decision because the apple only, the apple only gives you plus one, plus one onto the fish. This is a permanent plus one, plus one for the entire match. Um, not only for the next battle. And um, so you might be thinking, why didn't you buy the pig or the duck, right? They, they cost three as well. You would have something else here. Nope. They are just really that bad. I don't like them at all. And everyone has their own preferences. I don't think the duck, uh, the pig is that bad or the duck. But I just don't like them. So now we end turn. We have no more gold to spend. Uh, each turn, you can buy three things and roll once. Or you can buy two things and roll four times, right? Um, depending on whatever you want to do. It's a very strategic, again, auto battler. Now we end the turn. And we can pick a funny name, okay? Amazing sausages, you know, we're, we're talking about wiener. <laughs> so funny, guys. Uh, then we go, okay? And now, boom. Auto battle, I don't press anything. I have the game on double speed and everything because, hey, you know, 
It isn't that fast usually, but I would recommend you to just make it super fast. So as you saw there, I somehow won. The enemy was as glassy as he could get. Pooh, I'm telling you, he had no drip, no nothing. If he was in a in a high school, he would get bullied all day. Okay, the girls would be laughing at him. Hey, it is what it is. Poor guy. He was terrible because I had a very weak team. We still won. Um, and we get one victory trophy. If you get 10, you win. That's the whole uh, goal of the game. If you lose all 10 lives, you lose. That's it, basically. Trust me, it's very hard to win. Uh, up to 10 trophies, though. Uh, then you, you click once again, and now you go into the second round, which is shown over here. We have one trophy now. 10 lives, 10 gold. And now we get new animals to pick from. Now we get a cricket, okay? The cricket, when it faints, when it dies, it summons a 1-1 one, one cricket, which works really well with the little horse buff, okay? So we will put two crickets here. I could also combine the crickets. Then what happens is this guy gets plus one, plus one, but also he gets one of these little bars here filled. And if I get another cricket and combine them again, then this guy becomes a level two cricket. And his passive gets upgraded. But we won't do that right now. We will just keep rolling and we will just give this guy a honey pot, which means when he dies, he summons a 1 1 B after fainting, which is again very good for our horse. The horse is, however, very bad because it only has one life point. And if the enemy has a mosquito, start of the battle, deal one damage to one random enemy. Now, this one random enemy is a complete hoax. It's fake news. It is terrible because you know what happens, man? It always hits the horse if you are using the horse. If you're using the mosquito, it's gonna probably just miss, okay? It, it is RNG, we don't play with RNG. End the turn and we keep going. Now take a look at this fishy when it dies. It summons a cute little bee. And that cute little bee, right? That cute little bee gets plus one attack. Now the cricket gets plus one attack. And I end up winning once again. The horse can be very good early game, guys, uh, for the first couple turns. But you really don't want to use it too much because it really drops off. Now, um, yeah, you, you really want to sell it. Like, level 2 horse gives, every, gives the people plus 2 attack, which is just not good enough. Later on, the more rare animals, like a turkey, give people plus 4, plus 4 when they get summoned, which is insane, right? So the horse really becomes terrible. So now we have two victories. We are at round three. At round three, you actually get access to, as you probably saw so far, these little dice rolls here, these little dice uh, thingies here with the one die, uh, one eye on the die, right? Um, now we have access to the tier two animals, okay? So they're a little bit more, they're usually stronger, you know? And uh, the more you win, the more you survive, the further this turn meter here progresses the more rare animals until tier 6 you can get. And the tier 6 become very dank. So this is, again, the genre is an auto battler deck builder. Okay. Uh, then we have a pill now. Make a friendly pet faint. Now, you might be thinking, why would you do that? Well, I will explain soon, okay? Uh, now we will get an ant, first of all. It gets buffed, but don't worry, this buff is only uh, until end of combat. Now, this end is very nice, one of my favorites. Uh, when it faints, give a random friend, plus two and plus one, for that combat, okay? Now, we put in a fish here, and honestly, we just roll. Ah, okay, so as a beginner, you would most likely make the decision to buy one of these horses and just tack them on. but this is basically like a race against time because you want to win as many matches as you can before, um, you know, losing, right? That's the whole goal of the game. So this cupcake becomes very interesting now. Uh, I used to never buy this cupcake because look at this. You give a pet plus three and plus three, which is insane, but only until the end of battle, which seems like a huge waste because next turn, it's going to be gone, right? Next turn, this fish turns into a four and five again. So you might be thinking, bro, isn't that useless? Well, it might seem useless, but if it can make you not lose life and even win one more round, it is very strong because I have nothing else to do this round. We end the turn. 
I think that's the right decision. But again, this is where the game becomes a little bit more complicated. And um, yeah, I hope you're realizing now how fun the game can be already. We'll see. Now we should roll these guys. Actually, no, we don't. Ooh, he survives with one HP. So see, now I lose. As you saw, I just lost two, two lives. So the game isn't as easy as you probably thought. You don't just lose one life per loss. You lose one at the first couple, like at the, in, during the first and second round, I think. Um, then you start losing two now. And then soon, I think f starting from next round, we will actually start losing three hearts per loss. So you can lose very quickly. Um, and yeah. Now, I haven't explained the fish yet. Okay. Um, so I I'm already triggered here because we're being unlucky. <laughs> I would like some otters. I would like more fishes. I'm just going to combine this guy. Just going to combine these two guys together. And now you can see Faint summons a 2 and 2 cricket. Okay. So it's already a little bit better. But these early animals are really, really bad, unfortunately. Uh, we put in the turtle. The turtle is actually really strong. When it faints, it gives the friend behind melon armor. Which means um, it takes 20 damage less for one single attack during combat, and then it restores for the next combat. Now, I can show you why the fish is one of my favorites, because you combine, actually we freeze here. I forgot to tell you, you can freeze stuff. So now if we roll, it doesn't get uh, rolled away. So now we put the fish, because we didn't get anything better while freezing. And when the fish levels up, it gives plus one, plus one to everybody. So it's already pretty dank. Uh, we freeze the sheep, because the sheep summons two 2-2 two, two rams when it dies, which is really good. And we freeze the sleeping pill because this ant is about to die. And I will show you why. Okay. We end the turn. The positioning is very important as well. I'm going to get into that later on. Okay. I think I'm doing well, right, guys? In the chat, I'm doing this while I'm, uh, you know, streaming. You can check it out on twitch.tv slash circle. So, um, yeah, as you can see, this battle is pretty dank, but we should be drawing. Okay, so we get a draw, which means nothing happens. I don't get a trophy, I don't lose any hearts, which you might think is good, but it's not. Because now we're in the fifth round. So now we play against enemies that are also in the fifth round. And now I can start, actually, this is a good segue, into the PvP. I'll explain it after I do my turn. So first of all, we sleeping pill this. Because it makes a friendly pet faint. The sleeping pill is an item that costs less. It only costs one gold. Okay. So instead of, uh, I didn't tell you that yet, but you can sell level one animals for one gold, which we won't do here. You can basically choose if you have a sleeping pill here, you can kill it <laughs> to, uh, which is very morbid. It's very sad, but hey, we have to kill this little ant because any buff. Okay. And this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Any buff, and this is what a lot of new players don't know, and when I heard this, I started winning. Before that, I wasn't able to win. But this is a big tip where you can actually start winning. So, this, when it faints during combat, gives someone plus two plus one for that combat. The animals come back, and the buff is gone. If you kill it like this, this buff is gonna stay, okay? This cricket is gonna stay 6-6 six, six forever. We put this as well. And now we are down horrendous, guys. Okay, we are down horrendous because this is just a weak team right now. I think we sell this guy at this point because plus one attack is not going to do a lot. And I would rather just grab this cute little, um, this cute little giraffe because at the end of the turn, it gives the friend ahead plus one plus one uh, permanently as well. So usually, if you want to win in this game, you need buffing units. We will freeze the salad. We will freeze this. If I put this onto him, it's going to give him plus one plus one, right? Um, and give him one more bar, but we can do that next turn. Instead, I think it's better to just use this salad because for this round, this is going to be better because it gives two random pets plus one plus one. And again, you want to win this round. You always want to play for this current round. Very important because later on the rounds get very difficult to win. So uh, now I can explain the PvP. I have this team. As soon as I press end turn, this team gets saved in the database as a ghost. Okay, And then somebody in the future, in the fifth round, can play against this team. So
so you have no queue times you don't have to wait for opponents to do their turns you can see i have infinite turns i can exit out of this you know i can look at the achievements a little bit i can go back i can just continue and we're back to exactly where we were you could go uh, you know during lunch break play a little bit you don't care about how long how much time you have left you can play on a bus ride uh on your phone you can come back later continue on your pc uh cross play everything beautiful beautiful guys genius end turn now let's see what happens again these enemies w w he's not a real time real player but it is a real player who built this team okay and his team is looking pretty strong so i'm not sure if i can win i got a little bit lucky there yeah easy nice we got a little bit lucky with the health bars there so I was able to do pretty well. Now again, I, I don't win every time. You might seem it might seem like I'm pretty knowledgeable, which uh, I, I guess a little bit, but uh, I don't win every time. So now, um, if we level this guy up, he's gonna give plus two plus two to all friends. So if you can get a level three fish, it's pretty good. But you really need to give up. You you need to know when to give up. Okay, here we roll. Um, we just put another one of these, and then I think we just put a meat bone. Onto this guy, actually. This is a good meat bone right here. What does the meat bone do? It gives you the bone attack, which means it attacks for five bonus damage each time it attacks. Okay. And as you probably saw the combat, right? I didn't explicitly explain it yet, but they just attack as many times until they die, right? You can see they just slap into each other like this fish is not gonna die yet. It loses four health here left, and then it, they just keep slapping. Again, you could make this uh, like slower and i have to press the button you could take away the autoplay and all of that stuff um, but then the game is very slow <laughs> as you might imagine so now we have a little bit of an issue because i do not know what to do here we just lost so whenever you lose generally you want to you just sell this i think and you just want to buy the snail if you have the snail because the snail just gives everyone plus one plus one if you lost the last battle and you just sell it instantly because you will replace it 100%. And now we have to think about what we will replace it with. We could replace it with a kangaroo, which is pretty cool. Or we could replace it with a dolphin. At the start of battle, deal 5 damage to the lowest health enemy. Now, I don't think I'm going to run a kangaroo long term. So I'm just going to put a placeholder. Kangaroo is someone you really need to invest a lot of resources into right and at the end of the day the player who has the strongest animals not just the strongest types and combos and everything there's lots of different combos but it's really a lot about these health bars and stuff okay so that's that's what we're trying to build up now this is one of my favorite units the ox friend ahead fade friend ahead fades gain melon armor and plus two attack which is insane so uh this guy definitely looking a mighty cute to me right now. And I think we will just get rid of the turtle for him. I think we will do that. And we will just put him right here. And we will just start buffing him up. And I think we have to just, you know, try to win. Now, this is one of my favorite items. Or my favorite item. Pair, give a pet plus two plus two. So it's just an upgraded apple. Which honestly, I agree with, guys. Pears are much more tasty, right? Around which hour will you play Hades? Um, you should go take a nap. Do not... You're disrupting the YouTube video. Guys, I'm recording a YouTube video on my Twitch and people are already asking me for the next game. What is that? I'm being bullied. As you can see, I, can, I turned off the autoplay. So you actually have to press now for each turn. You can also turn off the speed up. So now it just keeps... Uh, you know, we can turn on the autoplay, but without speed up. And now you can see it's quite slow. You should probably want to play like this when you first start playing the game. Um, to, you know, get the groove of things. Garlic is very strong. As you can see, he survives a long time, but I'm still going to win. I, I will. You, you saw how it looks slow. I will just put it on fast again. Now, uh, by the way, if you're wondering why it is so fast, you have to go to settings, gameplay, and uh, no, misc no gameplay fast forward factory 200 percent. you can click here now it's 100 150 you you want it on 200 okay you want to you, you want to play as quickly as possible in my opinion makes the game more fun now we almost we're looking good here man this is a big ox already 
we reroll? We think. Do we need this honey? We do not. I think we do not. And we just end the turn. And this giraffe keeps buffing the ox. Now the best buffer is the monkey. Which gives the front unit plus 2 plus 3. Which is insane. You always want to use monkey if you can. Funnily enough though, monkey is not that good with ox. By the way, as you can see, the ox synergizes well with people that summon stuff. I got boomed right there. I'm taking a fat L. Three losses here. We only have two more hearts, which means I have uh, basically two more lives. Okay? So it's gonna be tough to come back from this. Now, let's take a look at this. We have some interesting units here. But I don't think we have anything that we can use. We have to really get lucky and oh boy did I get lucky. Oh boy. We sell this guy. We buy this guy. Okay. We sell him. We buy him. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> we, we freeze him. We freeze him. So let me explain what this guy does. When he eats shop food, this cute little seal, give two random friends plus two plus one. Eh, plus one plus one. So very insane unit. One of my favorites lately. Now I could just slap an apple onto him. But I want to be greedy. I'm looking for a pair. I could also just level him up, but that would leave me at two gold. So I would only put this to a 4-9 instead of possibly spreading a plus one plus one on other people, which is not worth. So what we do, oh my god. What the frick do we do now? I think we know what we do now. Now look at this cow, guys. Replace shop food with two free milk. That gives plus one plus two. And I think the game is basically over. So what we do right here is, first of all, we sell this guy because he is the guy that we will replace. And he, I need six gold right here. I need six gold in total because I need to use this apple on him and then use the cow. So we need to sell him because he gives me two gold. Sell for two. Boom. Then we place him in the front because he's still going to summon a bee, which is going to make two people faint ahead of the ox, which is going to give him... Double the attack buff. Now, we can go dank dank. Okay? We give him this. Boom. And he spreads the love. Then we put this. We get that double milk. This is free. And it gives plus one plus two. We give it to him. Boom. A hey, more spreading. Boom. Again. You see that? I'm strong now. We're looking good. We do this. And we just chill. Generally, you want to place your strongest unit at the front. Weakest unit in the back. End the turn. And I am praying that the enemy is not super lucky. And is super strong. But they could be. Please do not kill me. Mm, this is a very strong one. Oh, this is a super strong one. No. Yes. Okay, lucky. I got really lucky right there. So the hippo, what it does is, each time it takes out an enemy, it buffs itself. So it can go pretty dank. Um, now we need to think about this. We definitely upgrade the giraffe. We have a boar before attack. Gain plus two plus two. I think that is exactly what we plop down here. So we sell the cow. The cow just doesn't do much by itself. Uh, we put the boar. We put the sushi. Give three random pets plus one plus one. And we are praying that it will hit the seal. It did hit the seal. So he spreads the love. Then we just keep rolling. We keep rolling. We have a monkey, which I already told you is very strong. Uh, give rightmost friend plus two plus three, right? But we have a gi giraffe uh, plus uh, level two, which means she buffs both now with plus one plus one. So at that point, it is not worth anymore to switch because she already has nine attack and 12 health. Whereas this guy is a very small guy. Uh, we just go next turn and I am hoping I will win. This boar will carry me late game. But for now, we just need to spam food. And we need to find a chocolate. Which if we find it, you will see what it does. Now this guy is very strong, but not strong enough, I think. Ooh, okay, we trade, we draw, so I don't die. So honestly, we'll take it. Level 6, see, now we have tier 6 animals unlocked. And they are dank. They are so strong. And I think we just sell this. I think we sell it, guys. Yeah. 
Yeah, because the fly is broken. The fly is just broken, but we need to think about the positioning. So we put this guy here. And we need to think about the positioning. Maybe just like this. I will tell you why very soon here. Okay, that is a big one. But I would take a chocolate. Ah, mustard. We do this. Boom, plus two, plus two. We hit the seal. I am so happy. Now, why do we put the fly here? So, the fly. When a friend faints, summon a 5-5 five, five fly in its place. But this only works three times per turn, okay? So, this guy dies. Boom, 5-5 five, five fly. Uh, this guy dies. Boom, 5-5 five, five fly. Dank. Very dank. Why do we put the fly here instead of the last spot when I just told you that you should put the your weakest in the back? Because there's a crocodile which makes uh, which deals eight damage to the last spot at the start of battle on the enemy team. So we don't want to put the fly there because if the fly dies, well, this passive will be gone, and then I would lose. Okay, because we need this, and you will see the flies are extremely strong. I do you know? Are we good? Are we good here? He looks strong. He doesn't look that strong though. He just has a big dog. But the dog already died. Oh, I'm chilling. He was... See, sometimes they're weak. Because it doesn't matter uh, how many victories they have. They are just at the 12th uh, turn. So maybe they just kept drawing and they kept uh, getting a little bit lucky and stuff. And then they suddenly fight you. And, you know, it doesn't mean they have low health. They can be at full health. They can be... It's just all about the turn. Because if you think about it, you have 10 gold per turn. So, you know, it would be very unfair if you're playing based on health or based on victories. Because maybe someone can have 6 victories right away. Whereas someone else can lose and draw a lot. And then he's in the 10th round already. Or in the 12th round, like me. And already spent 120 gold. But you were in the 6th round. You spent 60 gold, right? So, you would be much weaker. So, um, the matchmaking is very, um, you know... You know, you, you, you'll get scammed sometimes. Um, give three random pets plus one plus one, which we will do. It hits that guy. I'm super happy. Now we are hoping... Okay, this is this is perfect, guys. This is perfect. Now, what he does is he, gets, he gives two random pets plus two plus two. We have to hope the sushi hits him. It doesn't hit him. I'm a little bit upset. I might lose because of that. It's a little BS. It was more than a 50% chance. I'll keep it a stack. We have five animals, three sushis. Should have hit him. If it hits him, I get two more buffs. Oh, this guy's strong. He has a leopard. Deals so much damage. Deals a lot of damage. Oh, I'm, de I'm dead. Oh, I was lucky. <laughs> okay, so we draw. Both pooped out the P uh, B at the end. And, uh, you know, we were fine. Uh, the garlic is not good, man. There's a melon. You can, you can buy a melon armor. Guys, we're kind of staying alive. Now we should, I think, pivot into this big man. I think we have to pivot into this big man. Because this big man will maybe carry the game. Am I right? I think it's too late to pivot. So this is the turkey I was talking about. Friend summoned, give it plus three, plus three. So now with the flies, the flies suddenly become eight and eight. Which you might think, ooh, that's pretty dank. But you suddenly realize you have to sell one of these guys that have a lot of damage and health to get a 3-4 turkey. Which I don't think is going to be worth, unfortunately. So we just roll. Now, uh, the snake is one of my favorite units. But I will show you in this. I'm sure I'm going to play a snake build in this video. It's going to be a 45 minute video. All the videos on this channel will be 45 minutes. Um, where I just play the game, you know. I, I keep missing the... It's just a garbage game, bro. Just a, It's just a garbage game. No, no, okay. We didn't hit him. I used two random food. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, man. We're probably dead. I will keep it a buck 50 with you. But yeah, all the videos will just be 45 minutes. Let's play videos on this. Where I'll just try to be, you know... I'll try to be as little cringe as possible. By that, I mean I'm trying to be funny. I'm sorry, guys. Look at these melons, bro. Unplayable. Okay, we died. But, as you can see, we died. So now you might think, oh man, that's so disappointing. No, it's not. You just you just click a couple times and you're already back, man. We're already back and we are kicking. Okay? Now, I think I just do... I just combine it? Well, I do this first. He gets double the damage buff and then I combine it. Because I want it to have a lot of health. 
right? Because one health really makes the horse bad. Three health is looking pretty good right now. We save the otter. Now, why is the otter the profile picture of this channel? Uh, I might change it, honestly, because it looks a little bit pixelated. But why do I like the otter so much? It's honestly my favorite one star. Because when you buy it, it gives a random friend plus one plus one. And then when it becomes level two, when you buy it, it gives a random plant plus two plus two. Just amazing. Just amazing level one unit. Just honestly one of the best. So let's see if we can win this. Squeaky. Squeaky is sorry, tentacles. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Are we good? Are we good, guys? Um, I started the video at like 40 minutes into the VOD. So this is already a 25 minute video. Approximately. Let's say 20 minutes. So approximately 25 more minutes. So it's going to be done at like 40. That doesn't make a lot of sense. It's a 30. Guys, is this a 30 minute video already? Guys, is this a 30 minute video? Is someone, is someone counting? What's up, MQK? Is someone counting, guys? I hope somebody's counting. Uh, we just pop this guy, right? He buffs him. We're getting a big horse. We go for the fish again. Um, then we just go for a level two horse, which doesn't make a lot of sense here, guys. And because it doesn't, I'm just going to put this guy because I'm really looking to sell the horse. As you see, the horse is just not that strong compared to some of the other early game units. But you know, we're chilling. Again, as you can see, the game becomes very addictive. You, you easily just play, you know. You, you will see my turns after I explained it to you the first time around. My turns are going to be much faster now, right? Because, you know, after some after some time, you can really make quick turns. Um, we just... Oh, I really want to sell the horse, man. But we can't just sell it, you know? We just pop this guy down. He gets plus two, plus two. The horse gets buffed. Disgusting RNG. One in four chance that this guy gets buffed. Now we have to keep him because you got the fed buff by him. And you know what? That's honestly fine. Now, the kangaroo is really strong. Kangaroo is really strong. There's some advanced tech. Like, because I leveled him up to level 2, and I didn't have access yet to tier 3 units, right? To tier 3 pets. I still, um, you know, was able to get the kangaroo. Because whenever you level up, you get one new pet available to you. Right off the get-go in the shop. Of the next tier. So, um, yeah. Very, very important little tech. So I kind of want to sell something here. I'll keep it a stack. I think the fish is copium at this point. We just put him in front of him. And then we just uh, put these guys like this. And this is actually looking good. Hell yeah. And the turn. Save the pill. And the turn. The flamingo, when it dies, it buffs this guy and this guy. Plus one, plus one. Ooh, look at this guy. Plus uh, nine, nine. But I think I win. It's a little bit crazy, bro. You can't just put all your eggs in one basket. So now the kangaroo, as you can see, not only is it cute, it also, uh, you know, friend at head, head attacks, gain plus two plus two during combat. So if this guy attacks, this guy gains plus two plus two. So you want to put this guy behind a very tanky and, you know, very tanky unit that will attack often before it dies. And then this guy becomes a raid boss as well, which is really sick. Uh, I think at this point we just... Pop this pill, this guy dies, we get the permanent buffs, we get one more spot freed up. We just roll, we get another otter. We hit the wrong guy. Hey, guys, it's okay, man, it's okay. It's just gonna be a big horse, we're gonna lose in like three turns. But you know, it's okay, bro, at least I get these guys. I th it keeps hitting that guy, it's a random, it's a random thing, it doesn't really look random to me. But it's okay. We'll see. We'll see, guys, how it goes. We'll see how it goes, man. But yeah. Um, now let's see how... Oh, let me pause this. Jesus. I refresh the stream. Because sometimes it times out a little bit, you know. Um, we won this round. Very nice. Now let me see. Ooh, we already have a level 3. Now this enables something very cool. Okay. We'll just upgrade this guy, because why not? Ooh, see? We upgraded him, and now we got a tier 4 unit, which I couldn't buy yet, usually. So this is really strong. This usually makes you win this round. Summon a chick with one health and half the attack of this rooster. Very cool unit. Rooster, one of my personal favorites. 
And then we just get another one of this. And this is actually good. Worm is probably my very favorite. Because um, eats shop food, gain plus one and plus one. So if you give it an apple, it gets plus two plus two. Which is very, very cool. Uh, and then we just end the turn. Bison incoming po copium. Exactly. If we get the bison, we are chilling. Because you will see what the bison does. The bison is a very cool unit. And becomes a raid boss. I think I'm winning. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. The kangaroo pulls through, man. Victory again. We're doing pretty well. Again, it doesn't happen often that you just win um, easily. And I, again, I'm, I'm, you might see I'm super smart by the way I'm saying things. I'm just explaining the basics. I'm not that good at the game at all. I am very average, as I said. Oh, hoo, 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 baby. That is a level 2 kangaroo, which now gains plus 4, plus 4 whenever the friend ahead attacks. And now I'm just looking great, man. We just keep rolling, but we just don't really care. Do we care about the turtle? Yes. We freeze both turtles. Because the turtle can go very insane. We're looking for another turtle and a pill here. And you will see something magical unfold. Now, um, that is a very glassy setup. Don't even talk to me, my guy. Don't, do not talk to me, man. Look at this. Look at this kangaroo, guys. The, the, the issue with the kangaroo is late game you have to sell it because if it gets sniped at the start of the round it just dies right um hmm. i like this i like the whale here i really like the whale i really like the whale man i think we sell this and we put the whale and you will see what the whale does it's a very cool unit we just roll again we just buff see now who do we buff now we have an issue who do we buff I think I'm keeping the kangaroo for the longest. And I'm just gonna freeze this, roll, we get another. Oh my god, guys, that is disgusting. That is disgusting luck right now. So we freeze this guy. Level 3 kangaroo, we, we have to give up on the turtle. I will explain what I wanted to do. I wanted to get a level 2 turtle. The level 1 turtle gives the friend behind melon armor when it faints. The level 2 turtle, when it faints, gives the two friends behind level armor. Uh, melon armor so i could give him melon armor and maybe him right and that would be pretty dank because melon armor is really really strong it's a it's a level six the melon is a tier six food it's very rare and if you get it three gold boom you get permanent melon armor on somebody but since we get this and you can't have too many things frozen okay it really takes away from your tempo so very important to not have too many things frozen now, I probably start this video at like 15, at like 45 into the VOD, so yeah, like eight, 8 more minutes of this video. So we should probably be able to do exactly one more round. We get smashed. We get smashed. Um, now, you did, I didn't even explain. I'm, I'm, I do apologize. Didn't even explain what the whale does. So the whale eats the guy in front. Okay? And then when it dies, it poops him out again at level 1. Okay? When the whale gets to level 2, it poops him out at level 2, etc. This, with the, with the rooster, makes a lot of sense, right? Because it eats the rooster, and then the rooster poops out, because it faints, it poops out the chick with 2 or 3 attack, right? And then the whale dies, and it poops out the rooster, and the rooster poops out another chick. But what we're trying to really do here is we're looking for a mammoth, right? <laughs> if we get a mammoth... Oh man, things are going down. And now this scorpion is very interesting too. But I will refrain from it. For now, we will just end the turn. And we will hope that we stay alive. Because I don't have a lot of health left. And he has, look, he has the same thing. But with the deer. The deer poops out a very strong. Oh man, he has a summoner set up. Look at him. Oh, he's going crazy. Oh, he's going crazy. But I'm going crazy too, man. I'm going too crazy for you, man. Okay, so, now this otter is very cosmetic, right? As you might imagine. The otter is extremely cosmetic. Now, I think this is a cool thing, but it's too late. It's just a little bit too late. Yeah, the seal is just too late. I only have six health left, which is two lives, right? Because we lose three. Um, so, it's not looking too good. I think we just roll. And we just hope for, oh, there's the bees on. Is the bees on too late? 
That is the question. And I think it is. So what the Bison does is end of turn, gain plus two, plus two, if there is at least one level three friend, which is this big man, level three. So if you have a lot of luck and you get a level, an easy level three unit at the early start, which remember you need... Um, you need six, you need six uh, uh, normal units in here to build the same ones, to build a level three. So it requires some luck, but I was lucky this game. If I got the bees on earlier, which I could have, um, this guy would have already scaled up hard. But that didn't happen. So I think it is just simply too late for him. This is also a decision you have to learn to make. Uh, so I think I will just go for this. I'll just keep buffing this guy and we just go into the next turn. And we just pray that we can win. And we pray that we can find a mammoth. Oof, look at this guy. He's so strong. <gasps> oh, yo, 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 yo. No, look at this. Oh, ho, 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 man. Okay. We have three health left. As you can see, it's it's tougher than you might have expected. Right? Keep, it a, keep it a stack with you, man. It's tougher than you might have expected. We are down horrendous here, guys. We need to just roll. Can we improve this with a parrot? We can't. Ooh, I am down bad right now. Ooh, mustard. Okay, so at least we can do one thing, right? We can freeze this. We can roll again. We can roll again. We can roll again, and you might be thinking, "What are you doing, Shirku? You don't have any money. You don't have any money left." Well, this is a level three unit, so he sells for three. So I can still put the cow, and we can still get the free milk, buff this big man, and just pray that he does something at this point, just something. But I think I put him behind this. I think this could clutch it up right now, because this guy eats this guy. He poops out the chick. He attacks once at least once dies poops out him he attacks once dies poops out the chick attacks once dies so this guy gets at least plus 12 plus 12 which is pretty dank hold up why wasn't i doing that earlier come on man come on kangaroo Ooh, oh no the turkey oh no the level three horse no look at this look at these summonings Well, we just took a fat L, but again, the, the good thing is you just click, 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 and you're, you're back in it. You're back in it, guys. So here we get a beaver, which is disgusting. Look at him. Oh, my God. Now we get a little bit lucky, okay. And because we get lucky, we get to buff him up. We go to the next turn. We just make a big guy. A big man. Nah, I think, see, I could just... Combined to make a big man. But. I do not think that will be worth. Okay. Because I think two guys are better than one guy. Even though the big guy would be big. It would be a four and five. So now we go for cartoony uh, streamers. Because I'm streaming guys. And I'm a cartoon. I'm an anime character guys. I know. I am your uh, kawaii waifu. Kawaii this. Yeah, you know I mean. Okay, we draw. It's okay, it's okay. So now I will try to speed run this a little bit. This is how the videos will be, okay? I will speed run fast, boys. Look at this. We just do, we just do, and we just diddly do. This guy is big now. Do we just buff him up? I think we do, man. I think we just buff him up. Go, next turn. See? It goes super quick. Like, you know, you probably got bored, but I had to explain everything to you. Had to explain some of the tippies and stuff, but now we'll, we'll just—I'll just give you a little bit of a, of a, you know, of a showcase how the how the videos on this channel will be. Always 45 minutes each. If you if you like if you, you know if you enjoy that, just you know subscribe all of that jazz. Uh, we took put the dodo. I like the dodo a lot here. Star of battle. Give 50% of dodo's attack to a friend ahead. We freeze this. We don't get anything good here, so we just give him a cupcake. 
because now we not only give plus three plus three to the dodo, he's also gonna buff him, and we have a big otter, which is going next. It is going dank, it is going swell. Can I do well? We'll see. We will see. Oh, uh, look, he. Bam! 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 Boom! Easy. Nice. Next. Go. Now, what do we do here? Terrible. Roll. Dodo. Big Dodo. Big Swan. Big this. Swan is a very weak unit, but start of turn, you gain one additional gold, which I really like because. You make a lot of gold, man. Which is beautiful. Right? You have 11 gold per round. Sick. Oh my god, he's going for the Hedgehog. Well, the Hedgehog, when it dies, it deals a lot of damage to everybody and... Uh, oh, wow. Anyway, now the Dodo gives 100% of its attack to the friend ahead, which is insane. Truly insane. And we have an early deer, which is super worth here. Which is super duper gabooper worth. We roll again. We the penguin, uh, rabbit, no. Uh, uh, garlic, yes. Uh, garlic on dodo, yeah, yeah, yosh. Yosh, because this guy will not be strong. Dodo will be buffed. This will be a dodo carry route. What dodo does is, again, he gives the attack to the friend ahead. So you can go for a very strong dodo and a very weak ox. So you can just slap everything on the dodo, buff him up as much as possible. And then the ox gets big as well. Nice. The bee saves me again. Um, it's always good to put honeybee in the back. Alright, so we buy this. And we probably just sell the fish now. Okay, so this is gonna be a bee zone round. We just need otters. So now, instead of just buying stuff, I will just roll. I will roll again. We just need otters. Oh my god, it's gonna be a bee zone round and the bee zone got buffed. Oh, yes. Uh, we will put this guy. And this should be good. Oh, wow. Wowzers, guys. Okay, one more otter. And we're looking at a victory, maybe. We'll see. Right? And then we still have the bees on. And uh, we still have the ox as well. Ah, we're looking good, guys. What do you think? Ooh, the bee saves me again. It's really, really good to put a bee in the back. That one of the best scummy easy ways to win is to just put uh, the bee on a badger, which you will see what it does. Uh, who do we sell here? We sell the fish, I think. We sell this guy, man. He's just not going to do anything at this point. We put him, we put him, we put him in front like this. And then we just keep buffing the dodo and we buff again. We hit the dodo and the guy It is going very nicely, man. Very satisfying. Now I just need an otter. I just need an otter, man. If I can get an otter. Oh, it's dirty, man. Oh, it's dirty. Look at him. Ah, bro, you can't. You can't, man. I still had a full fish. Okay, please. No otter? Really? Come on, baby. An otter? An otter? Yo, how about, how about an otter? Yo, buddy, buddy, an otter. We have to buy this. We have to roll down again. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we need an otter. I'll save the garlic as well. Garlic is really good. Again, garlic per attack that hits the animal, it makes it take two less damage for each attack. So if the animal has six attack, your animal will only take 4 damage per attack. So it's really good. Are we winning? Okay, we, we drew. We drew and this guy was insanely strong. This guy was so strong, man. Uh, please. Please, man. Please, bro. Bro, you, you, you have to be joking. Oh, look at this. So the chocolate... Is a very late game food, but what it does is it gives a pet plus one experience. Which, you know, if we do some quick maths, I'm gonna actually freeze it because if I get an otter, it's better. Oh, yeah, bam, man. Now he's level three, which means this guy will get buffed. Okay, I didn't explain what he does yet, but uh, I think I did in the previous round. Gain plus two and plus two if there is at least one level three friend. And now there is, 
So he's gonna be dank, okay? He's gonna be real dank. So we'll put him in the front actually and put it like this. You want to have the strongest in the front, which he will be. He will be 11 11 after this, after the combat ends. And he has the garlic armor. Then this guy gets buffed up by the dodo. And honestly, we have a magical team, guys. We have a magical team. If I get the bees on, one more bees on. One is frozen already, so one more. We have a level 2 bees on, which gains plus 4 plus 4. And we have a magical team. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Look at this dude, man. I love the dodo and ox combo. It's really good. It's really good. I think I just... Ah, uh, bro, is that worth? It's not worth. It's not worth. It's not worth. See, you would get... As a beginner, I would have gotten baited to use six gold to get this, right? But even if I get one more fish, it will just give everyone plus two plus two, which is cool. But it's not worth the money. Maybe it is. We just freeze both, I think. But if we get a bison, it's better. We didn't get a bison. Whew. Tough decision. I'll just do it. I think it's dumb. But I'll just do it. Because I think you can get you can do more with your money in the tenth round, you know? You can do you can do much more with your gold coin. You know? And now he is a mammoth. Look at the mammoth. When it dies, everyone gets plus two plus two. No, Goliath. Oh, I still draw. I still draw. We're chilling. Hmm. What do we do? We want another bison, right? But we have to use sushi. Sushi is amazing. Ooh, the mushroom. The mushroom is good. It gives a pet an extra life, but it comes back as a 1-1. One, one, so it's not super OP. But it's not good in this. with this. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my, guys. Now he's gonna scale. We save this, I think. Do we save this? I don't think this is the win condition. I don't think this is the win condition, man. I think this will be a bigger win condition. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now we're chilling. Look at this. Plus four, plus four, because he leveled up. So we are in the 11th round, and we have a 2020, which isn't actually that strong. Like, you see. <laughs> what is that, man? How did he get that? Okay. It's fine. How many lives do we have? Okay, so I have five lives left, which is two more tries, basically. I can die two more times. So we definitely go for this guy. Actually, we sell him, right? We have to sell this guy. He's 3-6. That is a very cosmetic ox. It's a very cosmetic ox, but we definitely keep buffing him. Wow. The bison is not going to get to three. Is he? Bro, if he does, he's crazy. He gets plus six, plus six. And he starts scaling super fast. I'll try it, guys. I'll try it. You also have these achievements I can show you. Um, I can show you right here. You have these achievements, so... Getting the sticker means you have to win a game, uh, you have to play, you have to get a level 3 fish once. And then gaining the ribbon next to the sticker means you have to win with a level 3 fish. So, uh, you see, I still have plenty missing. Okay, continue. Uh, just go next. See, this is where it becomes complicated, because we also have a seal, man. We could have taken that, you know, who knows. I hope I will win. I hope I'm doing well here, man. It's not, it's not... Not super easy. Oh my god, look at this guy with his turkey and parrot setup, bro. Yeah, these people are strong, man. One more life left. Okay, right, so at this point we have to sell this guy. No excuse anymore because we get two of these guys. Mm, then we definitely go for a melon here. Because it's just better than the garlic at this late game. We freeze this. We freeze this. I think I threw by having too many fishes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Now this is gonna buff the snake. It's a little bit of an awkward setup. We'll see if we win. The snake, whenever that friend attack, uh, ahead attacks, it snipes enemies. For 6 damage or something, or for 4. Let's see. So whenever he attacks, the snake is gonna shoot at the enemy. And then it just gets AoE down, and then I just lose. <laughs> and then we just lose. 
Well, we didn't win a single match. So that was a beautiful beginner guide, man. I'll keep it a stack, but I don't really expect a lot of new people to see this. I'm making this mainly for the community to, uh, you know, if you guys want to watch these videos on this new channel here or on this secondary channel. Um, I'm going to be uploading lots of this. I love this game. It's super fun. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell if you want to try this game yourself. Again, very simple. It's free to play on the App Store, Play Store and on Steam. Hey! Let me know what you guys think about this game. You know, if you watched until this point, you're pretty crazy. You should let me know in the comments. Uh, just post something weird. Po post, a, post a penguin emoji. How about that? Hey, see you next time.